We're here at uh, Bradley Beach on Bradley Beach Road, 32 Bradley Beach Road. And down the street here is, uh, that's 278, so you can easily jump on the bike path, ride right down here, maybe a quarter mile or so, down to uh, Shelter Cove and all of the restaurants and shops uh, down at Shelter Cove. And then going in this direction, you go right down here and that is, is the beach park and the beach is right there. So great location relative to the beach. This is a look at, at the home from the street. Lot starts over here, which we'll see this side, and then goes over to the, the white fence. And that is where the pool is over here. Two car garage. And let's get around my car here. The only thing I would change here, rather than these stepping stones, I'd probably put pavers like a regular walkway in over connecting over to the to the uh, driveway but totally fenced in we'll run up the steps nice track tracks on the steps or tracks like product and here we are at the first floor level great front porch as we come through the front door, we come into, I believe these are bamboo floors, I'll double check that, but nice open floor plan. Crown molding, good sized baseboards, very open to the kitchen, plus you have a, a, a space here that could be an office. You could stick a, a bunk bed in there and put a door on here because you do have right, right here, you have a full bath. With a shower. If the uh, blue isn't your color, it, it beaches it up a little bit, but but certainly that could be changed out easy, easily enough just by painting this wall and, uh, and paint, painting that cabinet. But full kitchen. I might change the backsplash to complement the, the white a little bit more. Eat-in area here. And then really a flex room here. I'm sure it's meant to be a din dining room, but I would set this up as a, as a second family room, especially if it were, well, if it were a rental, I guess you might be forced to, to make this, make this uh, dining space, unless we could find a better piece in, in here that would accommodate more, more uh, people. Out the back, we have uh, more of the Trex decking. Nice backyard, fenced in as I mentioned. Nice big pool, this looks out to the front. We'll go down there in a few minutes. Party plank siding on the house itself. Coming back towards the front door, we're gonna run upstairs. Nice spacious landing up here at the top of the steps. With a linen closet here. Good size owner's bedroom in the back of the house with a tray ceiling. Same flooring. Nice big walk-in. I almost would be tempted to, it's, it, it's certainly big enough in here I've had people do this where you put a wall about here, leave the rest and a, a little door so that you could have an owner's closet back here and then give, re, rework this a little bit, but give your, your guests enough room to uh, have, their, have their own, but gives you the ability to have an owner's closet, just food for thought. 
walk-in shower, dub double vanity, and then the commode is tucked around, around the corner here with a linen closet. Coming back through the hallway, we have two more bedrooms. Good size. I would definitely do um, make one of them a bunk room. Probably this one. I would do this a, as, as a bunk room and then do a king bed, which I think you could fit in here or vice versa. But, but I, I think in order to put um, enough enough people have enough beds bed space I would do that nice that you have a double double vanity in here just a tub shower uh, combo fiberglass combo in here and then upstairs laundry Heading down into the garage level. Let's see what we can see down here. Nice, nice big garage. Really, you have plenty of room for tandem parking on this side. Plus one car over here and just plenty of storage. And you could put a, a fun ping pong table down here. So you could do some cool things down on this level uh, for renters, whether it's having that parking or putting, just making a fun little room down here. And then this comes out. Now, of course, you can get to this around the corner off of, off of the deck as well, but um, this is the lower. The, the pool level. Pool equipment's right here. They have the smart vents, which are good for insurance. So this is it. This is 32 uh, Bradley Beach Road. And uh, hopefully this gives you a good idea of the, the layout. It's, it's a cute house. Thanks.